Back at it again, boys and girls, with my stonks hat. Stonks. What happens during puberty to a boy? He says goodbye to his childhood, enters adultery. <laughs> It's true, that is when you go from boy to man. You start, you know, it's, see puberty is a really weird thing. You start learning things about your body, you start watching things you didn't know you enjoyed before, you know, you start growing hair in places you didn't think you'd grow. I had a mustache when I was like, I think 12. Like I literally had a beard since I was like 13. I'm Jewish, we're hairy people. What do you guys want from me? I, I like, deal with it. But I was shaving at my bar mitzvah, literally when I was like 12 years old, I was shaving in like a little, little dirt stash that I had. And now look at it. Now it's like a, look at this, it's just taken over my body. So uh, the kid's not wrong. How would you make a marriage work? Tell your wife she looks pretty even if she looks like a dump truck. <laughs> I mean, look, the kid's onto something. You know, if your wife looks like a dump truck, are you really gonna go, hey, honey, you look like a dump truck today. No, if she goes, how do I look? You're gonna look at her and either say, you look nice. You would never tell your wife she looks like a dump truck. Now there's a big difference between telling your wife she has a dump truck and that she looks like a dump truck. A lot of girls, I'm not gonna say girls, a lot of women like to have a dump truck. It's a, you know, one of those big booties. Guys like it too, I got a dump truck. Ask Che, the next time he's hosting this channel, just drop a comment, be like, hey, Jared sucked, but he said he had a huge ass. I guarantee you Che will confirm. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Central Vibe. I'm your guest host, Jared Bronstein, filling in for Che Arena. Don't worry, your boy is gonna be back soon, but before we start, you know we all gotta do it together. Let's start vibing. All right, here we go. Don't forget to check your child's homework. When I grow up, I wanna be like mommy. Oh boy, what does mommy do? Cause right now it looks like uh, she entertains men for money. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I entertain men and women for money. So that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but I don't take my clothes off. Not that there's anything wrong with that either. I actually enjoy when people do that. Anyways, the teacher sent a note home with the student asking about the odd drawing and a note accompanied the child the following day explaining the drawing's meaning. Dear Mrs. Jones, I wanna clarify that I am not now nor have I ever been an exotic dancer. Nothing wrong with that, I'm a big fan, but let's move on. I work at Home Depot and I told my daughter how hectic it was last week before the blizzard hit. I told her we sold out every single shovel we had and then I found one more in the back room and that several people were fighting over who would get it. Her picture doesn't show me dancing around a pole, it's supposed to depict me selling the last snow shovel we had at Home Depot. From now on, I will remember to check her homework more thoroughly before she turns it in. Sincerely, Mrs. Smith. Well. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's funnier if she wasn't, no, I'm joking. I think this is incredible. I think that's a bit of a sh drawing, and I think maybe your kid needs to get some lessons in regards to art. Not that I'm any kind of artist, I'm definitely not an artist, but like, what grade do you think your kid got on that? How big was the fucking shovel? Was it the size of 10 people? Like, this woman's trying to hold the shovel with two hands, it's going past her feet, way above her head. This has gotta be like a 15, 20 foot shovel. Who the f uses that thing, Shaquille O'Neal? Sorry. You know, sorry Mrs. Smith, maybe you should teach your kid how to draw. Math test, Bob has 36 candy bars, he eats 29. What does he have now? Diabetes, Bob has diabetes. <laughs> See, with a question like this, the answer is seven. But is it? Cause he probably does also have diabetes. As much of a joke as this is, like, if you do eat 29 candy bars in one sitting, you're gonna get sick and potentially, I mean, I don't really know the science behind diabetes. I don't think you could get it in one sitting like that. I'm sure it's over time and excessive sugar, eventually your body's like, holy fuck. But if I was the teacher, I would not give him a, I would not give him a wrong for that one. That is the correct answer. At some, at some point, there is some realness in that answer. Unscramble the words to make a sentence about each sentence. What? Is pen in goat my A? My penis is a goat. <laughs> I don't understand what they were supposed to do here. Unscramble the word to make a sentence about each sentence. Okay, my my pen is in a goat? Is that what the right answer is? Because I don't know what else. Well, that's I think what they meant to write. I actually read it as my penis is in a goat and I think they meant to write my pen is in a goat and I think I actually just misread that. <laughs> but yeah, like what else? I don't know, my goat is in a pen? Like what are we teaching kids nowadays? You're, you're literally just teaching them to be stupid because this sentence doesn't even make sense. I think my mom should do less of this. Drink wine. Wow. I mean, look, one thing for your friends to tell you not to have so many drinks, one thing for your significant other to be like, hey, I'm worried about you. But when your kid is drawing these pictures and was like, I think mom should do less of this. Drink wine. You must be drinking wine all the time. 
<laughs> now, I don't, know what, what, I don't know what's going on in your life. Maybe your kid is just like a troublemaker and you always gotta be drunk to deal with that. But if that's the case, you shouldn't have had a kid in the first place. I'm sorry. Good morning, today is a free write day. You may choose your own topic to write about in your journal. Tomorrow, I'm not going to be here because I'm going to be in vagina. <laughs> Do you think they meant Virginia? Or do you think they mean, maybe they meant Regina, like Saskatchewan? Or maybe they, maybe this is just a kid starting young. I don't know, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna make an assumption here. I'm not gonna assume anything. Maybe they will be in that. I don't know, I genuinely, I don't know. So who am I to assume? I can tell you right now who won't be, and it's this guy. How is the brain like a cantaloupe? List seven ways. It is delicious. <laughs> Who wrote this? Army Hammer's kid? Holy sh! <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. But I could not make that joke. Come on, the whole cannibal thing. This is like such an easy setup. Okay, again, you get points for laughing because this is such a dumb f question. Ever in your life have you ever been in a situation where it's like, hey, what similarities are there between your brain and cantaloupe? It's like, what the? F what kind of? That's why. Like, what are we? What are we teaching kids nowadays? We think social media is making kids dumber, but maybe it's the curriculum having people tell you the similarities between a f brain and a cantaloupe. Although I will say cantaloupe is delicious. It usually comes with brunch. If you've seen Simpsons, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, there's a big difference between telling your wife she has a dump truck. A lot of women like to have a dump truck. I can't even say it properly. A lot of women like to have a dump truck. It's just like a. I just said a dump trunk. A lot of women like to have a dump truck. It's a, you know, one of those big booties. Maybe you should teach your kid how to draw. Maybe, that's just my two cents. That's what I think. I don't know. <laughs> Not me almost 27 making fun of some four year olds drawing. <laughs> I didn't do my intro. Okay, I don't know when you wanna put this in, but. Anyways, guys, that is all for this one. I've been your guest host, Jared Bronstein, filling in for the amazing Che Arena here on Top 10 Central Vibe, and we'll see you guys soon. Keep vibing. Stonks.